This video will demonstrate the pickup and monitor process when using the IHD Spirit system. After logging in to your IHD desktop application, the first thing that you're going to do is under selected group, you're going to choose which class period um, you would like to collect data on. Then you will slide over to select activity. This is another example of why when you create your activities and you set the lesson goal, you will want to put the percentage of moderate and vigorous movement so that you know what the class goal. As you can see right here, core workout, I did not put the percent of anticipated time at an MVPA level. It just helps you as a teacher to know exactly where those levels are going to be. So after you select the activity that you're collecting data on, the third part of the screen is being able to control the number of minutes that you are anticipating your students to be wearing the monitors. Because the lesson goal is on a percentage of this time, if you have a professional development day or an assembly or uh, early out or late start because of weather, you can come in here and adjust the amount of time that students will be wearing the monitors. Uh, that's a very important uh, aspect of our system. Then it says sending emails. If there is a check mark here, that means emails will be sent. If there is no check mark here, that obviously means that the emails will not be sent. Next is the zone heart rate display. If there is a check mark, then it is going to tell you the heart rate of that student. And this updates itself every about three to five seconds. This is not a second by second display, it's about a five second display. And you'll notice that if you uh, really concentrate and look at the display. So if you would like, especially elementary teachers, to have only the light, so the pipeline light around the face of the monitor to appear, you can uncheck this box. And now when you're in class, the only thing that the students will see is blue, yellow, and red. When the check mark is in the box, then the heart rate will display on the face of the monitor as well. Next is um, zone show marker. This is the icon on the face of the marker that has the little padlock. If the padlock is appearing on the face of the monitor, then it's telling you that this box is unchecked. If we check the marker, then students in the middle of class, if you want them to mark a certain part of the lesson or their charts at the end of the day when they're reviewing their charts, then you need to check this box. When you check this box, now instead of a padlock, you'll have a check mark. And that means the marker is going to function. You can also come in here and uh, put a little indicator, whether you're doing recovery rate, you could put an RR. If you're doing pacing, you could write in pacing. Whatever you're wanting that marker to represent, uh, we give you the opportunity to write something inside this marker text box so that when kids are reviewing their workouts, it's a reminder. And then the last thing here is normal and high, and this is the brightness of the color of the pipeline around the monitor of the, as well as the brightness of the heart rate display. After you have these three things set, you simply click Next. This is a real important part of our system, and it's a part that, as an educator, I really like. Students walk in, they see which monitor they're assigned to, they take the monitor, they put it face down on the reader, everything should be on a flat surface. As soon as they see hi their name and or the bright green lights on the back of the monitor, then they pick that monitor up and the next student is able to come into class and um, put their monitors onto the reader and check in. This process is important because what we're doing on the pickup 
screen is the monitors are being individualized to the student that is wearing the monitor as well as which lesson is being taught, which is really unique because now we can specialize the goals that need to be attached to each lesson. After you have taught the lesson, click Next. Hope this video was helpful for the pickup and monitor process. If you're ready for that next step, head to the Return and Save video. If you have questions or comments, please reach out to your customer success manager.